Hello, friends and family, and welcome to the Global Pandemic Crippling Anxiety Meditation Hour that lasts 10 minutes. We have had a death in the family today, so uh, due to the virus, no less, and so I will keep this video particularly short. It is in times like these that it is helpful to remember the utility of meditation and the utility of meditation especially in the mundane sphere is to provide us additional tools to remain calm and to think clearly and in particular when other people around us may not be it helps if we can and the more we can maintain our rationality and maintain our ability to think clearly the more we can help those who temporarily cannot. With that in mind, I would like to discuss a very simple idea, and that is the balance between holding on to our meditation too tightly or too loosely and almost everything within the scope of meditation tends to fall on a sort of spectrum and on one side we have tight grasping of our meditation of our meditation object and on the other end we have simply letting it go and letting our mind wander and daydreaming and indulging in fantasies and we will never or rarely find ourselves perfectly between these two points the middle is very difficult to achieve but when we find ourselves really wandering in one direction or the other um, there is a simile which can often be helpful in grounding ourselves in the center the simile is that of holding a bird if you hold a small bird in your hands if you hold it too tightly you will crush and kill the bird similarly if you become too loose in your grip if you let your fingers slide apart your two hands come apart the bird will fly away our meditation is like this we can kill the bird we can force our way into meditation it is possible and we will hold on to the bird <laughs> we will hold on to our meditation object but not in the way we want when this happens we'll find ourselves often clenching our face scrunching up I, I know notice these physical indicators for myself often when I'm doing this and the perhaps more common case of allowing our mind to wander allowing ourselves to drift <clears throat> is uh, all too familiar for all of us we don't even need a physical indicator um, although often the physical indicator is that we're slumping or even falling asleep on occasion um, because we've let our mind wander too far 
Every time we find ourselves on one side of this line or the other, we can allow ourselves to drift in the direction of the other side to some extent. So if your mind is wandering too much, you find you are too light in your meditation, you can breathe two or three firm breaths. You can change the breath for two or three breaths. You can even force yourself to draw your attention to the breath a little bit. Similarly, when we find ourselves forcing the meditation unintentionally, it's just happening, happening, we're forcing, forcing, that we can physically loosen up. We can try to relax and follow only the natural breath with no forcing, with no intention. With these two ideas in mind or with this one idea in mind um, with two sides let's meditate now for 10 minutes if you have your timer you can get that out I have my timer set for 10 minutes and we can start it now
that's our timer for today. Thank you to my friend who uh, gave me that simile many years ago, and I still make use of it today. And thank you to all of you who are taking care of your families and looking after each other in these troubled times. Continue to do so, and I hope you continue to meditate. And we will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.